Hello. Tim said he saw that we were in the chat and figured we were watching and would know when to go online. Well, we weren't watching. We were just watching ourselves on our little screen thingy. Where's James? I don't know. It's 203. Nowhere to be found. Hopefully he comes back soon. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, I literally just finished eating this peanut butter bagel. I got a lot of peanut butter in my mouth still, so bear with us here. Why is Justin wearing a coat? Man, it's freezing outside. It's freezing. It's cold. I'm so cold. Like, this is like a bigger coat than I usually wear. It's just cold. Okay. Well, while we're waiting for James, yep. let's reach into Tim's giant mail sack. Should we press the button? Oh, good call. Whoop. There we go. Okay. Uh, top... How do you say his name? Top Potzel? Top Potzel? Yeah, sounds right. Did Tim already answer these questions, guys? Let me know if this is a repeat question. With your vast VR experience, any chance you will make a VR game for PlayStation platform? Tim's answer that he wants me to read and not deviate from at all. We are currently focused on Stormland, in parentheses, which is massive, and parentheses. And working with our partner Oculus Studios, we have learned a lot working with the Rift and PC VR. And it is awesome to be at the forefront of that tech, but we are not actively working on VR on other platforms. We are still working with Magic Leap as well for new mixed reality experience on ML1, as we teased last year. Oh, such a tease. So to answer your question, no VR games for PlayStation platform as of now. Okay. A more one two three two one. Was that your zip code or something? I have another question. Will you all make any VR games? Tim Why does he even print this? Tim's response is, "Well, that's just a silly question." Chat. I want to apologize for wasting your time by reading that. I'm gonna kind of like um, skim over these before I read them out loud and make sure that they're worth reading. This one's a repeat question. Okay, Blue Boss New says, "Will you ever reference the lovely Insomnia Games Discord server in future projects?" Um, Tim says, "We appreciate that, and we'll pass it along to the proper teams. We would love to. Uh, we will see." Yeah, it's possible. Sunset Overdrive would have been the type of game to do that because I was very like meta and um, fourth wall breaking. Mm -hmm. There's James. Sorry. It's okay, we're just reaching into Tim's mail sack. Reached into his mail sack? It's a big sack. It's a big sack? It's a grab bag opportunity it's here. A um, big sack? Yeah, you can sign in. Um, Are we live? Yeah. Oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see, next question from Pixel Butts. Didn't Tim already do this one? Sorry, Pixel Butts, I don't feel like reading your question. Hamseski. Hamseki. Have you been to Germany? Greetings from Germany. Talk about Germ. Tim says talk about Germany. Dot dot dot. James. What? Ger oh oh have oh wait. So it's a question. Have I been to Germany? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, I've been to Germany. From one sits pinkler to another. From one sits pinkler to another. What's your experience on Germany? Uh, so I've been to Germany a bunch of times. Uh, I was gonna try and download Apex, but. <laughs> Uh, right there, Apex Legends. What? Was it really? See, it says Apex Legends, like literally right there. Where? Like just scroll Deals? down. Deals? Popular? Down, go down. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, there it is. <laughs> mm. All right. Well. All right. I'm gonna download this way to play Spyro because you know YOLO. Uh. Uh. So. Wait, Talk about Germany. The yeah, question. Germany. Well, that's not. So the first time I ever went to Germany was um. Was uh. Um. The first time I ever went to Germany was, uh, um, oh, I see, never mind. Sign in to, yeah, yeah you're signing in as you. Yeah, I got it. I you hold down the PS button and then do power. I never, see, I never actually sign in as another user. Yeah, do power. It's weird. Power. 
Power. <laughs> Power. Uh huh. Switch user. Log. Switch user. Yeah. So anyway, um, first time I went to Germany, I went to Leipzig, and Leipzig was where Gamescom used to be. Oh, oh, I get it's downloading here. This is where Leipzig used to be. Uh, it's great. It's um, weird. It's East German. Uh, oh, wow, look, it's right where we left off oh, last yeah, time. This is great. Uh, and uh, it was really fun. Um, there was some weird bars there. There's an absinthe bar. Oh, I actually have to go this, don't I? Yeah. Uh, uh, so there's an absinthe bar there. And you uh, and it was weird because the first night we went there, they were just playing weird out music videos. And then the second night we went, we went there, um, they were playing um, uh, uh, Hitler cartoons. In Germany? In Germany. That's not good. Oh, I thought that they were like, we must never speak of this. And they like overcompensate for the atrocities of the past by like completely wiping it away from everything. Well, that's, but not in this absinthe bar in Leipzig. Wow. Uh, the problem though with the Leipzig Convention Center uh, was that it was um, it was all glass, mm -hmm. so it kind of had like a greenhouse effect, and oh. um, I don't know what you know about you know Europe and uh, I know they got lots of windmills there. Yeah, I mean like you know it definitely was a little it got a little ripe in there. That's all I have to say. You know what? I should put on the gameplay footage. Uh, what gameplay footage? Oh, they can't even see what we're doing. No, now they Man, they were they weren't even going to see me do this, and they were never going to know that it was a glorious <laughs> moment works. of of well, great, they see it now of great victory for me when I finished this somehow successfully. Uh, can't forget about that chest, James. You got that chest. <laughs> I think I got the chest. I, I think there's one more. No, I don't think so. No, he got the chest. Got the there's chest. an icon at the bottom. Oh. What? How do you do that in your second try? God, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah. That. Two tries. I two tries. Too legit. To, and oh, yet he quit. Oh, are we quit. still having the... Do we ever scale back down from 1080? Or do we ever figure out why we're getting... Uh, no, we didn't. It, there it goes again. Yep. We're just gonna stay. I mean, I... Oh, yeah, switching's probably bad, huh? And we're not gonna switch midstream. I don't. I don't know. It's oh. a computer or something, right? Are we at 720 from the Nintendo? I don't think so. Good check. Can you read that thing from here? Uh, almost. Um, is that why we're having issues? Possibly. Because it's still set at 720. No, it's set at. It's set at 1920, 1080. Okay, so they're just automatically. But it is. The gameplay is. Getting very choppy. Oh, I think the video I'm up on the damn it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway. But I see that there it says 60 FPS, and it says 1920 by 1080. Okay. But it is. It's dropping. It is dropping uh, a lot. Yeah. Uh, let me just go and reset it. Do you want to switch it back? Just to reset. Okay. It. Elgato. So just 720. No, we're just gonna try restarting the Elgato. All, All right. right, guys. Well, you can keep playing. So anyway, uh, I went to so I went to Leipzig, and then I went. I've been to Berlin for a night. And that was fun. Before, um, or after the fall of the wall. This is all after the fall. I did walk along the line for the Berlin Wall okay. and all that jazz, and uh, I ate a bunch of seafood. And I feel like I may have gotten really drunk and thrown up the seafood, but I don't really recall that. Mm. Uh, and I was there with. Brian, who works here, and John Raffis, who now works at Treyarch on Call of Duty, uh, we all went to Berlin after Leipzig. We almost left Ryan on the train, because he was passed out on the bullet train, and we got to Berlin, and he was, like, completely asleep and, like, snoring, and his mouth was open, he was like this. I have a photo. He's like... <laughs> and we're like, should we just leave him on the train? And, like, we are laughing about it. Like, yeah, that'd be kind of funny just to leave him on the train. Oh, we do have another question from Key so and Prime. So, then we went to... Then I've been to Cologne a ton of times, so I know Cologne super well... I've uh, worn Cologne before. Yeah, uh, and Cologne is fun. Lots of good Kolsch. It's a really good Indian place I like there. Um, plenty of stories. And then I went to Munich most recently for Ratchet and Clank when I was on the press tour for Ratchet and Clank, and uh, that was really fun because I got to have Bavarian food in Bavaria, and Bavarian food is the best German food. 
uh, and they took me out at uh, like 11 o'clock at night when I got in super late uh, for Bavarian food and it was delightful um, yeah I was in like a Bavarian part of Italy actually where it was a lot mm-hmm. of Bavarian influence um, okay. yeah so Germany we thank you um, we're happy that you guys are all furries and that you buy our games we really appreciate it thank you um, Key and right, Prime. Switch back to gameplay. Let's see if it works. Key and Prime says, "Do you guys like pancakes? If so, what do you like on your pancakes? As I like jam and chocolate on mine." Mm. Justin, how do you like your pancakes? Actually, uh, you're not big on breakfast, huh? I'm not, but I like pancakes. You do. But I, I, Who doesn't I, like pancakes? Does I'm... anyone in the chat not like pancakes? Well, he's saying, "What do you like on your pancakes?" Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah. I, I kind of get picky about the syrup. Something. What did you say about furries that got everyone in the chat freaking out? What? Well, our German fans, it's like if you do a heat map of like where furries are in the world, it's and then you cross, you overlay that with a heat map of the Ratchet and Clank sales, they're the same, and it's Germany. Oh, it's still freezing. <laughs> It did. It paused for like a solid two seconds. I saw it. Huh. We had been doing PlayStation stuff fine earlier. I don't know. It seems it's, it's better now than it was earlier. Oh, yeah. I mean, better. It, whatever was going on before was crashing or it was freezing every like couple seconds. Now it's. Yeah, I even saw this thing that I've never seen before earlier. It had this little like a warning triangle. Broken or something. And mm. then I reset it and see fine. It doesn't happen. Man, you can turn the bitrate quality down on the Elgato settings. You should have a much easier time. Bitrate bit rate is too high, it can sometimes cause issues. Yeah, our bitrate is within the recommended specs, yeah. and we have a pretty beastly PC. Yeah. It looks a little better now, guys, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's still pretty soft, please. Alright, open that. Okay. Like a key or something, or no? Maybe. Um, yeah, anyway, that's my journey story. Um, they said I should come to London. Yeah, I've been, um, I, I, I go to London. I haven't been in, I went there, so in the last two times, I don't, maybe I haven't been to London since Sunset Overdrive, but I went to London twice you in like three weeks or four weeks, and we did whip. You can really go like far. different events, but they were at the same location, so I stayed at the same hotel, I ate at the same like, Shepherd's Bush and I ate at the same Nepalese restaurant both times, and it was like the most deja vu thing ever to basically like groundhog day yourself on an international trip like that. Very, very weird. The last time I went to London, it was the day of the um, subway bombings, and I got there, I, my plane landed, and the bombings happened like maybe a couple hours earlier, and there was like all hell broke out, and I was stuck at um, the airport for like maybe five hours, couldn't get a cab, it was pandemonium. Oh, that's oh. not what I was supposed to do. Uh, yeah, and there's a big, there's the weird thing is in Shepherd's Bush, there's like a big uh, Westfield Mall that's like really nice. It's a beautiful Westfield Mall, but it's like just weird that there's this huge Westfield Mall of all. I would just go to Harrods. Uh, well, yes, I'm. I know, but I'm, it's just strange to be there. Oh, you're supposed to run into those. That's an orangutan. This is a Donkey Kong cross. So yeah, I'm gonna go see the orangutans soon. That's where I'm going. Uh, be here Friday, but then after that, uh, I'll be gone for the next three weeks. Because uh, first I'm going to Dice, and then I'm going to Southeast Asia, and I'll be in Sumatra, and I'm gonna go visit orangutans in the wild. So, yeah. If I come back without arms, you'll know that I was uh, beating them at Kashyyyk. <laughs> oh, not Kashyyyk. Yeah, Dejarik. Sorry. Kashyyyk They're from Kashyyyk. Kashyyyk. Yeah. Well, not the Iranians. It's Wookiees are. Wookiees. Uh, have we considered putting Resistance Fall of Man on PS4? Uh, We've that's... considered it, but it's not something we would do. We don't, we're not the doers of that. That's Sony. Yeah, we, we, we don't port our games. We... Hi Kyle Smith, you missed us messing with the settings, and you may have missed me pulling off a very difficult flying sequence in the game on my second try. 
Actually, I have this weird thing when I play video games. I don't know if anyone else out there has ever experienced this, but like when I play something that's really difficult in a video game, uh, and I get really frustrated by it, a lot of times the time I finally will do, I'll play it for like an hour or two, and I won't be able to do it, and then I'll I'll leave the game and I'll come back later mm -hmm. and I'll play it and I'll beat it on like my first or second try. Like yeah, because like there's like some level of you're just too like I'm just too. Um, uh, too, like close to it at that point to actually successfully do it. I don't know. It's a weird thing. I believe that's called um, the PAP phenomenon. The what phenomenon? The PAP phenomenon. What is that? What does PAP mean in this instance? It's like you, you, you I, I went away from it and you came back to it later. Oh, and... I thought you were going to talk about smearing me or something. No, I, no of course not. It's, come on. Uh, I don't know, that's where my brain went. Speaking of that, um, <laughs> smearing. Speaking of, of wait, 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 can we go back to what we smear on our pancakes? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you like say, smear? Does anyone in the chat not like pancakes? I didn't miss this because we the game was. It's crashing. a key and prime question. We shouldn't yeah. we shouldn't answer <laughs> too well and too long. Yeah. Okay. All right, but I am curious if anyone doesn't like pancakes and. If like, they do, we'll just ban them, so they probably know not to say like, it. I know lots of people look put fruit and stuff on pancakes, and I actually had pancakes in Tokyo that were pretty good. They were like this specialty pancake dessert restaurant. But I just really am a maple syrup guy myself. Like, I just like maple syrup. You know what I do like that people probably have never had? Have you ever had turkey gravy on pancakes? Special place in hell for those people. <laughs> you shut the hell up. Like, turkey gravy on pancakes is delicious, and I'm gonna like... God! <laughs> so... If Hitler, Mao, Hit and somebody doesn't like that puts pancakes, turkey the... gravy on a pancake, we're all in a room together and I had a gun with two oh. bullets, I'd shoot the guy with the turkey gravy twice. <sighs> That's funny. Uh, Just kidding, I'd shoot the two evil dictators that killed millions and millions of people. Little Logmer says, I love your all's Ratchet and Clank series, so many memories. Well, thank you. Ow! Oh, that break. Justin, what? You did. Oh, got it. Um, I can do the flying, I can't play the regular game. So, I want to talk briefly about the new Godzilla trailer, because... Scarlet Hills is very upset about this turkey gravy on pancakes. Yeah, so what you do, hold on, before you get to the Godzilla trailer, you whip up, when you're done on Thanksgiving, you whip up a bunch of, you like get all the little bits of turkey, you know, all the little crappy pieces no one's going to want to eat, little bits off the carcass, and the next morning, and you make whip up a bunch of extra turkey gravy, or you save the stuff to make turkey gravy in the morning so you can make fresh turkey gravy, and then you make pancakes, and you want to make Swedish pancakes, like not Swedish, but sweet, like so they're kind of sweet, you want the pancake batter to be sweet. Um, you don't want to make like the whole grain pancakes that are healthy or whatever. Uh, you want to make like nice sweet pancakes and then put the turkey gravy on there because you get this wonderful like savory and sweet thing. It's like eating chili and cinnamon rolls together. You've done that, right? Chili and cinnamon rolls? Yeah, well, you have a bowl of chili and a cinnamon roll? No, I'm not going to hell. What? There's We literally have... <laughs> It in this is this chili is, you, and cinnamon rolls. You ever heard of this? Yuck! You've never had chili and cinnamon rolls. No, Justin, you ever had a chili and cinnamon rolls? Chat, you ever had chili and cinnamon rolls? Never heard of that. It's a real thing. Yeah, I mean the things that R. Kelly does are real things too, oh but that gosh. doesn't make them right. Oh, are you you cannot be comparing I chili can't. and cinnamon rolls to it is R. Kelly. It is a kid no, that it is the food equivalent of R. Kelly's personal life. Look, look at this. Look, look at that. Doesn't that look good? The nice thing is like, you no, get a little, you get a little, bite of chili so it's and like it's separate. savory. I thought it was like awesome. Yeah, but it's oh, probably no. dunk it though. No, you don't dunk that, <laughs> oh. you don't dunk it. You just, you like, you have a bite of cinnamon roll and it's sweet and delicious and then you eat the chili and the sweetness in your mouth makes the spiciness and all the, the savoriness of the chili come out more. And then when you go back to the cinnamon roll, you really taste the cinnamon and the sweetness and the bread. Uh, it's, it's delicious. Uh, I and, believe that if that... not only that, hold up, hold up, it, I will take it even a step further in that there's a fast food restaurant called Runza in Nebraska that they sell this as a combo in the winter time. They literally sell it as a combo. You probably can't see this, but I'm going to hold it up anyway. And, and they sell it as a combo. Look up Runza Chili and Cinnamon Rolls. Runza's R-U-N-Z-A. That seems and like sedition to me. It's great. Some sort of puzzle. It's a boss. Can I have to have him destroy these things? Yeah, have him hit the red ones. Yeah. Maybe. Uh -huh. Um. So anyway, Godzilla trailer. 
Now, I saw the first Godzilla trailer and I was like, Sir Kako says, of course, it's in Nebraska. This is crap. Like, screw the first Godzilla trailer. Uh -huh. And I don't want, even want to see the movie. And they got Tom Middleditch in it. Jesus Christ. Then I saw the second trailer and I was like, this actually looks really cool. So, that's where I stand. Charge the pillars while they're green, apparently. Hit it now, hit it now. Oh, so now you need to wait for new pillars or something? I don't know. Oh, he's retreating. Chase him! Where's he going? Oh, Aww. more pillars. This is like the opposite of that plank level where he's running away from Sylvester Stallone. Oh, yeah, you, char you break them. You have to charge through them while they're green. Got it. Well, yeah, uh, everyone's, everyone, I don't know why everyone in the chat is so uptight about, uh, about the food that I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, well, because it's, it's an atrocity. It is, um, you blasphemy. Know, you know what's going to happen is the next, the next chili competition as I am the two-time defending chili champion here at Insomniac Games because I am a badass and I cook chili better than anyone else in the studio. Uh, I'm gonna bring cinnamon rolls with it. I'm gonna have it paired with cinnamon rolls. That's fine, put your money where your mouth is. We'll see where the public stands on this. <laughs> uh, functional dreamers says, don't get me started on your Ratchet and Clank reboot. What? I don't know. Huh? Oh, he asked about maple. Do you like, what, do you think about, do you, what do you think about bacon on top of donuts? Bacon on top of a maple glazed donut? No. Why not? I do think bacon got way overused as a ingredient in desserts. I will say, I, I do, I do generally find bacon is unneeded in most desserts. Yeah. Uh, didn't an Irish woman call you something? Oh yeah, Key and Prime. There was when I was at Austin City Limits, an Irish woman walked up. She's like, "Don't take this the wrong way, but you look, look like someone who knows what the best thing to eat here is." I was like, "Shit, I gotta get in the gym, man." <laughs> Holy fuck, I am I am a fatty. That is a Wait, problem. That's like what Reddit would call murdered by words. Oh like dude, it was it was like <laughs> it was like the most backhanded thing ever anyone's ever said to me. Like, you look like someone who knows what the best thing to eat here is, and I'm like, well, that's it. I'm I'm gonna starve myself and go on a diet now. Uh, and yeah, I've lost about all of thirty or uh, twenty seven pounds since pretty then. Pretty good. Yeah, nice. so I put my money where my mouth is on that. Uh, I'm not, I'm only 90, well now I'm less than that, like 88% of the man that I was before when she said that. So maybe I don't look like that anymore. But I did direct her to the best food. I did know what the best food was. <laughs> she was right. Uh, Scarlet Heels is daring me to eat his mom's favorite midnight snack. And I'm really, that's concerning. Like what could, that, that could be a lot of things that I don't want to put in my mouth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sir Keiko says there's some things you don't mix. Beans and sugar is gonna be a no for me, no matter what the Japanese say. Oh, do you like do you like the red bean? Pa do you remember how Japanese like red bean desserts? Oh, I hate those. My oh. girlfriend likes them. I can't. Oh, yeah. I, I can't do that. They're good. I like that stuff. Uh, like mochi. I had like the most delicious mochi in Akihabara when I was doing. Game I like game. mochi just by itself. I like vanilla mochi with red yeah. bean paste inside and like a strawberry on top. And they have the most perfect, beautiful strawberries there. Though they they like grade their strawberries and stuff. I'd so. rather listen to Maroon Five while looking at a photo <laughs> montage of Tom Middleditch. Uh, let's see, man, you and Thomas Middleditch. I'm gonna bring him in here so one day. Not tell you that's gonna be Maybe great. Good. Rest? I'll make sure that I eat a bunch of spicy food like, before I know pass we have gas. mutual friends. Like I know people that know Middleditch. Uh, well. He should feel guilty about what he's doing on those Verizon commercials. He should, he should feel shame. Uh, most Irish people say that Hellboy trailer can't be any worse than eating chili at the same time as a cinnamon roll. <laughs> oh, there's a the Hellboy Gaker. trailer? Don't. Oh, I, I haven't seen it. 8-Bit uh, Butts has lost 17 pounds since the start of January. Who had January? Uh, it, so it's Chinese New Year as of yesterday, and I didn't really get to talk to anyone. Does anyone have New Year's resolutions? How are you guys doing on your New Year's resolutions? We're 37 days into this. Does anyone oh, in the chat have I, a New Year's resolution? I didn't make any this year. You didn't make any this year? Mm. All right. Justin, did you make any? Uh, I need to go to, I need to go to the gym. I need to go to the gym. I need to go to the gym. So it's your New Year resolution was to go to the gym. All right, it's to try to be about like by the, towards the end of the year, maybe about like three, 
four times consistency. We should have made a resolution that so by the end of the year, whole... us two combined could beat Swole Adam. <laughs> so you have a whole. Oh, in a, in a fight? I don't know, in some sort of strength, like a tug of war or something. Oh, <laughs> a tug of war. Uh. 8-bit butts. I didn't make any resolutions. I just got worried when I saw 292 on the scale when I saw <laughs> Doctor. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah, that's good, 8-bit butts. Uh, congratulations on the weight loss. I understand that exact feeling of, like, when you step on the scale and you're like, oh, crap, like, mm -hmm. uh, and the doctor, going to the doctor's office forced me to step on the scale sometimes, and that was... Well, just make sure that you have a planet Earth scale, because one time I was in the planetarium and they have the scales for what you would be on all the different planets, and on some planets I weighed way more, and on other planets I weighed less based on what their gravity yeah, is. Yeah, the moon scale is like very flat. Right? Yeah. But it doesn't really help you actually realize what you really weigh. So like. make sure you have a, uh, it's calibrated for planet Earth first off, before you do anything drastic. But then also you could try intermittent fasting. That's mm. supposed to be very helpful. My dad does that, mm. and it's been helpful for him. Because mm. he's on this, he's in this weird situation where he's getting very old. So his health is declining because of age, but then he's compensating for it by like exercising and stuff. So like, Sometimes, like, he kind of seems, like, way better overall now than he was, like, five years ago, even though he's five years older. Mm. Just because of the way he's taking care of himself. So, yeah, I would look at intermittent fasting. I will also say that diet matters more than exercise by a long shot. Well, yes, that's... But look, if you want to lose weight, it is very simple. It is calories in minus calories burned. Mm -hmm. If you have a deficit... Every 3,500 calories deficit you have, you lose a pound. Mm -hmm. Every 3,500 calories. So, like, you can completely lose weight by just dieting, you know. Yeah. You can lose a couple pounds a week by only eating, like, a 1,000 calories a day if you can survive on that. Uh, that said, you can turbocharge the whole thing. I mean, here's the problem. Most people work out, then they're hungrier because they work out, so they eat more, and it wipes out any benefit of working out. Um, but you can totally turbocharge it, because say your body's burning 2,000 calories a day, if you burn 800 calories in the gym, and then you only eat 1,500, you can lose a, pound, a couple pounds a week real easy, and drop it off real fast. So, exercise, you can do it totally without exercise, you can do keto diets, there's lots of diets out there that do it, but combining the two uh, will usually give you the best results, because you're burning. And I personally, I feel great when I exercise, so. Yeah, I mean, I think what my point is that um, exercise is good for you. It's good for your muscles and your guts and everything like that. I don't think it's like that efficient at a weight loss method because like if you're on the treadmill and then you see how many calories you burn after like half an hour, it's really not that many. And you just, I, I mean, know. it's good. I, I, it's, it, it's, in an hour, you can burn like seven, 800 calories on a treadmill or on an elliptical. Like, 800 calories is nothing to sniff at. That's, you know, 40% of your daily cal calories. Well, right I think that it, that's just, that's true. I would say that the benefits to your heart and your, you know, um, your cholesterol and stuff like that. Is just as big a reason to do it. Yeah. And that just by not drinking a soda or something like that and all the like calories and the sugar in that, beer. that's where the difference is going to come with your weight loss. Beer is my problem. Oh, beer, yeah. I love beer. What am I, where do I go? What do I do? Uh, well, we're looking for dragons right now. When's what coming? Davy Mikata says, when's it coming to Switch? Uh, if you're talking about Spyro, uh, I already did this area, by the way. Oh, I don't uh, know where to go. Uh, to your right. Uh, we, we didn't develop this. We developed the original game 20 so some odd years ago. This is the remaster reignited by oh, Toys for Bob and Activision. You'd have to ask them any questions. Uh... Eight fit butts. I love beer. James Stevens, 2019. Yeah, well, that's I don't, true. Don't want to return home, but beer is delicious. Uh, I cut carbs and fast 12 hours from dinner to breakfast to help keep off baby and medication weight. I'm done perfectly without any exercise. Yep, it's totally. Again, you can totally, if you watch what you eat, count calories. You understand that you're totally fine. Uh, no, Insomniac developed the original game. None of us worked here when the original game was developed. Mm -hmm. I've been here for 12 and a half years, though, and Insomniac is about to hit 25 years this month. Uh, yeah. So I've now been here for more than half of the company's life. I've been here almost exactly the average tenure, which is huh. 6.38 years, and I've been here for like 6. 
one five years. So you're slightly below average. Is what you're saying. In all of life. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I, there's so many jerks I want to make, but I'm not going to. Uh, uh, well, I am a quarter Japanese, but then I'm also part German, so that kind of cancels out. Well, so you're both axes. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll just. I'll dance around that. There. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I would love to play Spyro Reignited on my Switch too. That said, I have this whole stack of Switch games that I haven't played, and I should probably stop buying new Switch games because I just keep doing it. Like I am one of those. Like, I'm like a Switch whale. I just have all these. Although that said, my Gamers Club Unlock just expired. And it was a tragedy. Like I was like, oh, I don't want to buy Ace Combat, so I can play the VR mission. And I was like, why isn't it going down to forty-eight dollars? Why is it staying sixty dollars in my cart at Best Buy? Oh no! I was like, <gasps> and then I like looked and I saw, and I was like, oh no! And I realized there's probably a lot of stuff I didn't have pre-ordered that I should have. I feel like we did this in area two last time. Maybe we, we yeah, but there's only one. Oh, there's still dragon. So. All right. Uh. If I snack on something, I eat something healthy, eat small portions. Yeah, that helps a lot too. Cookies, ice cream. <laughs> I love that. I love ice cream. I definitely cut my ice cream consumption way down. That's probably helping. I haven't had my cholesterol checked, and I probably should do that, but I probably won't do it until oh, oh, I'm done traveling. Oh, but hopefully, oh. I'll start walking, working out. I'm gonna go hit the gym later today. I'm gonna get a haircut tonight. Sorry, Key and Prime, no mullet. I'm actually getting a haircut, and it's not even that long. Man, you should get like the permed mullet, like um, what's his name, um, Hasselhoff, David Hasselhoff. Oh, I would, I'm not. You're, what? Are you gonna get a mullet? I would join you in that venture. If you did it, I would follow suit. You would get a permed mullet too if we were both doing it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, I have no intention of getting a permed mullet. Wow. I see how it works. Uh, you gotta believe, then you gotta uh, achieve. K6-12-1-1-2 on Mixer, thanks for the follow. Uh, EOIG boys, how many of you guys have played the OG games? Uh, I did a long time ago. Uh, I haven't played the OG Spyro games since, no. oh. yeah, since like when they roughly came out, probably. Um, or like when we played it on stream and stuff. Uh, original Ratchets, I played. I played all the original Ratchets before you guys did out there because I got preview and review copies. So that was my. Uh, that was a uh, fun period back in the time. Oh! Wow. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Told you I wasn't good at the normal birds. Um, also, that Apex download, I don't know if you wanted to play it. Are we doing Spyro or. We might switch to it. We'll see. I did see that it finished. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just want to play it. Yeah, I saw that it finished. We have to get 50 dragons to get on the hot end of the game. That's why. Yeah, I know. Well, dragons are like the, the stars of the game. Yeah. Well, before he was doing like coins or earth, they would just be gems. Uh, just started doing it. My well, cousin started working at Insomniac over the summer, so I was excited to catch this stream when I was just looking for a Spyro stream. I really want to buy it. Is it a solid you recommendation? Are releasing me. Uh, yeah. It's, I mean, like, if you like, uh, it's like, you know, this is a very lovingly put together remaster of the original game. And if you want to play a game that's like a classic, I mean, I, you know. I didn't, well, I didn't work on this, so I can say it. It was a classic 3D platformer. It's still, you know, and, and I, I didn't work on it, so I can say it. Like, I, I think Spyro is better than Crash Bandicoot, personally. Like, Crash, you know, is the one that kind of gets talked about more, but Spyro was always to me the game that I enjoyed more. Um, you know, it was PlayStation's Mario, basically, um, and so that's super rad. Uh, yeah, it's terrific. It's very fun. It's it's very pretty. It's gaming, also. and it's it is a beautiful, beautiful port and or remaster. It's not really a port or anything. Um, and it's um, it's lovingly put together. 
they listen to the community's feedback uh, on stuff. Um, yeah, it's just great. You should totally, you should totally check it out if you haven't got it already. Um, it's like it's the perfect. Like, it's very much like Ratchet and Clank is in my mind, where it's the perfect game you can play to just relax. It is relaxing. It's yeah. kind of you, yeah. You don't have to concentrate so hard. Yep. Uh, Key and Prime is really just obsessed with my hair. You should yeah, send him some of it. Give him a lock. Oh, no, that's that's fucked up. <laughs> what you think he's gonna make a voodoo doll out yeah, of it? I don't know what he's gonna do with it, but oh, I don't really uh, want to send like hair to someone. That's that that just. I was thinking about like, getting a uh, voodoo acupuncturist so that I'd just be like walking down the street one day and be like, oh. Because there's a, someone has a voodoo doll and they're just acupuncturing my back with a little needle. Uh, imagine that, you're just driving to work. Uh. <laughs> um, Where should I go next, guys? Am I looking forward to Devil May Cry 5? Well, this is how many of the first Devil May Crys I've really played. Zero? Is that a zero? Yeah. Kian Prime says he'd make a clone of me, so that's, you know. Oh, he wants your DNA. That's uh, why I would Well, there's that. other ways to get his DNA than hair. Like saliva. <laughs> or fingernails. Just saying, you don't have to cut his hair off. That's true. Alright. Just get a little fingernail clip in. Trash Walk in the line there. <laughs> yeah, well... Uh, okay, Corey, thanks. I mean, at some point, you're gonna become famous enough if we keep streaming forever, where I don't think there's your any... locks of hair will be worth money on eBay. I don't think there's any fame or infamy that will ever come from this. I mean, there might be infamy that comes from the stream, but I don't see any fame. From... Do we get all the mailbag questions, mail sack? Yeah. The good ones. Oh, you didn't do all of them? No. Some of them are kind of repeat questions. No. Oh. Yeah, Corey got most of them. You can't. How about a poster? Kyle Smith says, just goes ahead and puts what yeah. we were trying not to say in the chat. See, it's more funny when you dance around it than when you just outright say it. Have you been the strange things that show up on eBay? I've oh, seen the strange, th oh, I thought you were talking about stranger things. Have you seen the strange things that show up on eBay? Well, I've heard about stuff. Oh, I also heard that Netflix has paired with Gwyneth Paltrow's company Goop to make a new original series. So I just want to say, boycott Netflix. Why? Because Gwyneth Paltrow's company Goop is the dumbest thing. It is basically like... How do I put this? I'm trying to think of an equivalent. I can't. There is no equivalent. It is unequivocal. Goop sucks. <laughs> Why? So she is this um, millionaire that is so out of touch and she acts like this kind of Martha Stewart type character and and is very holier okay. than thou and the blog is like, you look at it and you just, just look at the, the Goop blog for like five minutes and tell me that you're not having suicidal thoughts. Right. It's just, you're just looking at it like, uh, uh, uh. It is not a spiritual successor to the blob. It's just dumb. Well. You would love to have a poster from us? Hmm. Well, your name is not Remaster Resistance. Sorry. Yeah, I haven't seen him around either, by the way. Well, he got his poster and then he ran away. <laughs> so he was just waiting for that. Yeah, no, I don't know where he's he was saying they doesn't like it anymore now that we have like, the days are like kind of set like Tim structured it you know with like Tim's sack Wednesdays and stuff like that so oh, it's because we keep playing Spartans. yeah so then he said he doesn't like it anymore what is this game title this is Spiro the dragon well that's good Tim's chasing off the most hardcore things of the show it's terrific <laughs> you know yeah typical Tim mm -hmm. uh 
Kian's like, can I still get a piece of your hair? I, Kian, you never were getting a piece of my hair, and not can you still get one. Jeez. That's, yeah, that's, that's kind of intense. Um, 8 bit butts looked at the blog for 5 seconds and died. Yeah. Yeah, it's too bad. Uh, what are your favorite games? I think we, I feel like we've done everything. Yeah, I think that's why we have to like get all the hunt down, to hunt down more. Favorite games? Um, I I, have, I can't say one definitively, but I can say like um, for story and world and just immersing myself into another place and time, Full Throttle. Yeah, I love Full Throttle so much, and it was a huge. Um, influence on me and it's probably like one of the reasons I got into gaming um, I played it and I drew all the pictures from the scenes in that game and I like wrote little fan fiction stories about it when I was a little kid and Tim Schafer oh I gotta meet Tim Schafer and tell him the story sometime Tim Schafer is the creative director of Full Throttle and Day of the Tentacle and you know obviously lots of other stuff now um, he's from my hometown Sonoma my godmother, who is the lady that held me right after my mother did, she was the office manager at Tim Schafer's dad's business in my hometown in Sonoma. And Tim Schafer worked there one summer and she like managed him. And she called, and when I told her that I work in video games, she was like, oh, do you know little Timmy Schafer? And I was like, I know of him. And she's like, oh, little Timmy Schafer was so cute. He used to always come into the work and then be helping out with the mail and stuff. And oh, you should tell him I said hi. And I'm like, well, it's kind of like a legend. I don't just like go casually up to little Timmy Schaefer and say hi, but you know, maybe if I see him at like, um, I don't know, E3 or something, I'll like stop over and say like, oh, hey, like my my um, godmother like called you little Timmy Schaefer. <laughs> and, and you hung out with her all the time. Like you guys used to work together. And um, and and we're from the same hometown. And then I, I love the games that you made so much. And now I work in games. Yeah, Sir Keiko says there's no such thing as a Martha Stewart type character. You're either Mar uh, Martha Stewart or you make food and I ain't trying to eat. Oh, God. Martha Stewart's gangster. You ever see? She like hung out she with Snoop Dogg. She went to prison. Yeah, she did. She did. And she has all this stuff where she's hanging out with Snoop Dogg now and they do like little TV segments together. She's pretty awesome. But Gwyneth Paltrow is like a wannabe version who's just like out of touch with reality. We ever get a box with an X on it? Yes, I have an Xbox One. Uh, I like uh, Martha Stewart's fine. She's no Julia Child though. Julia Child is great. Did you ever see Julia Child make uh, David Letterman eat beef tartare? Huh? It's hilarious. No, I have not seen that. Yeah, classic. Like, this is raw beef, Martha! What are you doing to me? <laughs> like... Yeah, really, really funny. Wait, how do I get up there? I like, um... What's her name? Gina De Laurentiis? Is that her name? Gina? Oh, God, I... Let me try to get on that, um, that she's, she's cooking and she's like, Alright, so we're gonna add in a little olive oil and a little paprika, and then we're gonna add in just a dash of mozzarella! And like... Wow, you really summoned your Italian accent for that one word, and then you reverted back to your normal cadence. Yeah. <laughs> She'll do it every time. And her uncle is Dino De Laurentiis, the famous film producer who produced like every cool action movie in the 80s. Well, how do we get on? And then she has her own cooking show. Sure. Hi, Cyro. Yeah, Giada. That's right, Giada, not Gina. Yeah. yeah. Can you like get on? Giada. Yeah, can you get them? We're gonna put in little tomatoes yep. uh, and um, little bell peppers and then just a dash of mozzarella. <laughs> wow, you seem to enjoy that too much break. Stuff like that. If, if you ever watch your show, you'll be kind of like doing something else and not paying attention to the TVs in the background and then you'll have to drop everything. And, and you, you're like mesmerized by her pronunciation of this word. She just exclaims it. Justin, what's your favorite beverage? Oh, you did it. Oh, oh. oh that was close. My favorite beverage? Yeah. Oh, like soda or something? I don't know. Any beverage. Any beverage. 
Oh, I gotta hit the next again. Uh, Sprite? Sprite. I would say that he does... Sprite? You like, really? Sprite? He does oh. order Sprite quite a lot when we go out to restaurants. He will order Sprite if he's gonna order something. Huh. I like milkshakes. <laughs> milkshakes are great. Now, the question for me is like, are you talking about if you're... If you could only drink one thing ever again, or is it like, if you're gonna treat yourself, what are you gonna get? If it's a special occasion, you know? Because um, I try to just drink water or milk for health reasons, but like, if I'm gonna splurge, I love lots of different sodas. I love Dr. Pepper, root beer, orange fan. Dr. Pepper is my favorite out of them. I mean, I will drink Mountain Dew still. I don't like that. Not ironically. Um, A&W, oh. Oh, a and so good. Yay. Now they have a bunch of a and in Okinawa. Really? Yeah. No. Thank you for Kyle, there might be some Kyle. lag with our Elgato. Uh, we're gonna mess with the bitrate settings after the, the stream. The it's, it's, it's us, it's not you. I think there's a bit of lag on the uh, gameplay, not on the couch. Great Fanta. Okay, how can I ban this guy? Bam, what guy? 8 bit butts is saying Grape Fanta for Christ's sake. Will we play the new Metro next Friday? You could. I don't know. Tim may not let you play it on Friday, though. You could you could have Russian Friday and then you could both play Metro and, like. Oh, yeah? You, or one of you could play an old Metro game and then the other could play the, the new Metro game and, like, you could do everything in Russian accents and drink vodka. In Communist Russia, games play us. Uh, yeah. What time is it? 2.50? <laughs> We're like barely halfway done with the stream. No, no, I wasn't asking for that. I just don't know where to go next. And I... Let's play that other game. Alright. Apex Legends. I'm just switch users back to me. Melon Fanta? I've never seen that. No. Can I ban myself? Well, I can make the stream private and ban all you suckers. I got the power in my fingertips. He's got the power! Da 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 dun 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 da 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 dun dun Uh... Alright. So, Respawn's new game. Came out Sweet. earlier this week. It's free. Free to play. Have not played this at all. It's gonna be bad. I'm sure the kids are already far better than I will ever be. I like the class thing or whatever, how you choose a class. Just class and play your class. Yeah, you, it's like Fortnite, but you, you actually have to play as a squad. Like, uh, I think people have roles. I like how it's like Fortnite now instead of like PUBG. It's now it's like Fortnite. Yeah, it's like Fortnite. PUBG was first. Why would they block this scene from being recorded? I don't understand. There's a great fan. Okay, so there's lag happening in the game itself. That's not the stream. I'm seeing that in the game itself, guys. You should change the title of the stream's game. Not all legends are heroes. Just ignore the metadata. Each fight for their own reasons. This is some fancy After Effects. From the ashes of war, legends. I got a drawing tablet so I could make stuff like this, and um, it's hard to do. I don't think I'm gonna be good enough to make stuff. Like this. Time to win. Maybe if I keep practicing for like ten more years. The champions. Kyle Smith said it went on tour of the Coke Inside. Factory, some different flavors in different countries. The first time I ever went to Epcot, maybe they still have the Epcot. The gold remains like the a same. Giant Coke we do it. Become an apex legend. Of soda. Of Coke sodas. Uh huh. And so I say, it's a sport of survival. Oh, that's cool. Coke tasting. Yeah, it was awesome. It was like, and it was like all the different countries' versions and like the different sodas that they manufacture in those countries for that taste, like all these African like sodas you. and stuff. That's cool. It was super, super cool. I want African soda. As a little kid. I was just like, this is amazing! You and you get to drink a ton of soda and then you're wired on caffeine and sugar the whole rest of the day! Yeah! It's very cool. Um, Has Ted Price ever given you a talking to? <laughs> What's that in context to? I think he just means in general, like, you've ever been in trouble. From, like, you're so gonna... Ted has to come over to you? No, he's never given me a stern talking Ted to. Ted has to come over to you in your trouble, that's not good. Yeah, he has bigger fish to fry. <laughs> like, there are underlings who manage that stuff, so he didn't have to deal with that. Uh, what tablet? Uh, yeah, I got a Huion GT191. 
or however you say it, Huion. Huion. I don't know. Huion. Huion. Hui Huion. Well, it's H U I O N. But yeah, it's the GT one nine one. It's nineteen twenty by ten eighty. It's nineteen inches. And I got it on a little stand, so I have it like that at my home workstation, and I have my monitor right behind it, so I can like pull something up and I can be drawing full screen on here. I'm left-handed, by the way. And um, it works great, and I got this brush set that I downloaded from some digital artist online who like vlogs about their art techniques, and so they gave me like a nice brush set. And it's really just I'm learning form and consistency with my lines and stuff like that. It's just a lot of practice. Pouring. I got a Juan new 1060 plus, and that's cool. Does Brian give you the talk? Brian Intihar? No, he's also too important. People lower than that. But I draw on my Galaxy Note 9, laughing my effing at A off. Oh, so I watched this movie that was really bad, but it had one good line that I want to start incorporating in the stream. So the movie sucked. It was some like movie on that guy from The Hangover, the beard guy, Shot Zach Galifianakis. But they were like, he's a, a driver for an armored truck, and his boss is like chewing him out, like you're supposed to be doing the route, and you're uh, on your lunch break, getting that truck A S A F and P. I thought that was funny. I never heard that before. If nobody here knows who Horang is, I'm gonna start questioning things. Horang? Is that the guy from Fatal Fury? What's, what's your Brian impression? Okay, let me channel the Brian impression. Brian in Let's see. Ah. Man, I'm kind of low energy right now. It's a frisbee day. I'm kind of out of it. So Brian would be like, "Okay, the thing about into the spider, the thing, the thing about into the spider verse. All right, so what I really liked about it, you know, he kind of does that, like where he, he cuts himself off in thought. That's cool. That's really cool. Their communication system. That's neat. Tech. Oh, he's from Tekken. Oh, I was close. At least I knew it was one of those fighting games. You got a Turcom tablet." 5.5 by 4 inch. Oh man, so you're doing little, little emoji art with that thing? That's cool. Um, Hi friend, I'm Pathfinder. How long I'm does it take to you to get you ring, used to first, drawing on your tablet? You some helpful tips. Cause for me I've had mine like Working together two weeks and I'm still getting hang of it. And, and, very and what software do you use for it? I use Photoshop. But I guess there's like... Intelligent example. Or there, dummy, for short. There's some software that's like just for drawing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I forgot what that is. It's like SketchUp Pro or Sketch... Well, that's there's Google SketchUp. Um, there's like there's one that was called like I don't remember. There's Corel Draw. Yeah, Corel. Yeah. that distributes help to anyone next to it. I think Photoshop's probably the great job. Photoshop's fine. Illustrator is the best, but sometimes they die. What was that? Was that like um? Don't worry too much. You still have a chance to bring your friend back. Approach Dummy's stash and grab their banner. Great. You can use that banner to bring back your friend through any active respawn beacon. Oh, it's a respawn Approach beacon. The respawn oh, we really should have put it on camera B once we went back. Activation. I forgot. Be it careful. Missing. It takes some no, time to contact the drop ship. You could get shot. That wouldn't be good. Maybe it is a class base. I thought it was class base. Actually, I don't know. Oh, it is? Yeah, pretty sure. Oh, okay. Did you shoot? Oh. No, nah, they just give you one to start. So ah. The, this is the tutorial still. Oh, okay. Pathfinder reminds James, does he have a mullet or a beard? Because that seems to be what he thinks of me, is that I'm just a giant Welcome thing back, that grows here. Here's another thing. <laughs> like our tactical abilities, Manga Studio is great for tablets. Ability. Yeah, that's you what I was thinking of, Manga Studio. Ready. I was going to call it Anime As Studio. Lifeline, your ultimate calls in a lifeline package that Sorry, delivers not a all types of defensive not loot from large health kits to <laughs> Kotaku's the Kotaku's the Kotaku's website. Kyle Smith said he loves how in the Spider-Verse reference the game. Yeah, it was pretty cool to see. Yeah. It was pretty that? cool. It was pretty cool to see that. Uh, Here it comes. Uh, see our suit. I was mm -hmm. like freaking out. 
You still haven't seen it. How can you say mm hmm? Well, because it was in the trailer, even. Yeah, it's different, though, in the movie. Oh. Yeah. yeah, there's more shots of it. You can get a full shot of it. Oh, yeah. But you would know, because you haven't seen it yet. No, I haven't. I don't want it to taint my oh artistic gosh. vision for the trailers. So. You gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. See you in the ring. Bye. It is good. It's very good. All right. Finish the training. That's good. You know what every battle royale game lacks? What is that, Sir Keiko? I would say a sense of royalty. Like, let us all have scepters. Other game modes that aren't battle royale. Well. <laughs> but they're all. I mean, like, Fortnite's free. So, why do you. It doesn't matter when it's a free game, right? Yeah. When is an Insomnia Games scary game coming? The closest thing we have to that is. Edge uh, of Nowhere? Yeah, Edge of Nowhere is sort of a... Uh, you gotta have Oculus Rift for that, though. Uh, or if you know anyone that has arachnophobia, they could play Spider-Man. Alright. <laughs> Why do all the characters in this game look like they're from Chappie? James Beals, what's good, good everyone? Um, yeah. I don't know. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It stopped raining in LA. Yeah, that was nice. I got to play Frisbee. Happy about yeah, that. Yeah, I know PUBG isn't free, but a lot of the other ones are. That's all I'm saying. Oh. Uh, uh, the other Inside Me game that kind of is spooky and scary is Into the Nexus. Yeah. That guy has a well, resistance bit too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Kind of got a little bit of horror vibe there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember playing resistance being little, and I was a little freaked yeah. out. And, you know, being those dark rooms and and um, digit and dash. <laughs> well, no, I, I mean I'm probably going to Seattle this weekend, and I'm going to get plenty of snow there, which may mean that I'm not going to Seattle. Uh, oh. Who should I play, Jack? I don't know. How come two of them are named after different places? Bangalore and Gibraltar, but then the other are just like... I'm ready for whatever today brings. I feel bad for these two people because they have... I have no idea what I'm doing. It's okay, you got it. Well, on the flip side, they're really good at this game, so do they actually know what they're doing? Dot, dot, dot with their free time. What your character does? You're a scout? No, he's like the heavy armor guy. He's like the tank. Oh, no, wait. No, he is. Yeah. It said he was like a forward scout? Are you like a sniper or something? Here we go. Oh, you're a forward tank scout. Tank. Wait, this is just that. What's that new game that's coming out? It looks just Anthem. like this. Anthem. That's exactly Anthem. No. No. Well, what are those over there, James? Look at those things. They, those giant ass. They're like somewhere between like War and Worlds. Like the hell? How is this not Anthem verbatim? <laughs> your task and your job is. Well, we gotta find weapons, right? Yeah. I don't even know if I have my abilities or not. I assume I have my abilities. I'm, I'm just gonna follow this guy because they seem to know what's going on best. Uh oh, now you have like a Robocop pistol. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. stay together and work together this could go well did you see i read this thing and maybe this is just pubg mobile but like one of the pubgs like in your first couple of games it puts you in with lots of dumb bots so you either will win or will get close to winning um oh just for 
Yeah, so like in your early games, it fills a bunch of the slots up with stupid uh -huh. bots that won't get the drop on you so that you can get the drop on them so that you can feel like you're actually good at it. Builds confidence. <laughs> right. Well, it teaches you kind of, you learn just by doing it, you know, I guess. You know. Better than just randomly getting killed in the beginning before you have a chance to figure anything out. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You're gonna have a rash on your butt after that slide. Well, you know. Oh, there you go. Oh, there's a bunch of Careful. You got Charlie. You got Charlie up in the hill. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh, so you must have a special. Wait, you do have a special. I don't know what it does. Oh, it's like a trap. See, I shouldn't have done the finisher. That was just me getting cocky. We still have that stupid stay hydrated bot even though we're on a restream. Jesus. I was just posting on Twitch. The key people who made Titanfall and this made the COD Mood game good also. This game's free? Yeah. Pretty good. Oh yeah, of course it's good. Like, you're talking about like guys who make like one of the best shooters of all time. Like, I'm just saying it's impressive that it's free. It seems like a really premium experience. I like Titanfall one and two. Uh, yeah, that's that. That was obnoxious. I shouldn't have done the finisher. I like thought about it. I'm like, I didn't realize that. I had no idea the animation was going to be that long because I <laughs> never want to be like that cocky to like spend all that time finishing someone in the open like that. Uh, so this is your teammate. Yeah, they, I'm not leaving the round, but I'm about to die. I'm literally about to. They can go recover you. Yeah, but he, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. So uh, we're all about to. We're about to die out. Oh, my knees. Sorry, chat. You understand. I gotta stretch my legs. I'm getting old. No spry chicken. Oh, blood flow. Bye, friends. Hope to join again sometime. Goodbye. Bye, Kit, Kit Fred. Fred. Bye. Kian's like, make sure I watch out behind you. Yeah, I know. I, I, I get it, dude. I played shooters. And they said that the... Yeah, the uh, finishers are bad. They take too long. Yeah. I Well, I didn't know that until I did it, and then I got murdered. Because At least you got a cool finisher, though. All right, I'm out. Uh, respawn timed out. Yeah, I'm out. I'm, I'm done. Start me game. That's the downside, I guess. One of the things I love about Fortnite and stuff, it's like as soon as you die, you just like mm -hmm. start a new game. And like having, I do like the ability to get back into the game if your team pulls you back in, but I don't want to sit around waiting. Like that's half the fun is. Yeah. Um, or I wish it was like, I, I that could be cool if while you're waiting to respawn, it was sort of matchmaking you in the background, like. You know, so that uh -huh. you could possibly get inserted into another game. Mm -hmm. I like the HUD. Don't die. Yeah, I understand the point is not to die. The problem is with the squad, and maybe that's why they went three players. Like at least with the squad, you kind of feel like you can't just like hide in camp. You like want to help your squad out if everyone's in squads. Whereas like when it's like solo YOLO, it's kind of just you know you can definitely. Yeah. I've gotten I've like had great PUBG games where it's like I basically just lurked and killed one person at the end. I was like, yeah, that's. Let's see. So does he poop out batteries? Uh, dead batteries, yeah. And then if he has diarrhea, it's battery acid. Correct. Well. Can you change that emoji on his chest to an eggplant? Oh no. <laughs> so what's going on? We're waiting to join a server? Yeah. It's, it's taking a server. long time. Well, you know, matchmaking is matchmaking. Mm. 
and you know that they have good matchmaking because it's respawn. Uh, Beast Blood says this is the best. Beast Blood Alt says this is the best battle royale game so far, hands down. Oh, it did change. Oh, it went back. Uh, Mickey D said respawn. E respawn said EA didn't have much involvement with this game. Well, I mean they published it, so you know. But you know, when you have a team like respawn, they know what they're doing. So if they're gonna make a multiplayer battle royale free-to-play shooter, they probably know how to do that. You probably don't need to tell them what to do. So this is Kings Canyon. Is this as in like the real Kings Canyon up in Sequoia? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Oh. I think this is supposed to be somewhere else. Because it didn't really seem like that. These are all like other planets and stuff, I think. Oh, like Hollow? Uh, oh, you get, I to, get pick to pick first. first. Oh, I get to be. We've got a job to do. Probably so shift your carcass. Why are the other two walking? I'm not afraid to march, but loser. That would be a job. The between life and death is where I feel most alive. Oh, that guy's a carrier pigeon. Hey, come and get it. Uh. Dalton Cuddell says we want Ratchet and Clank. Yeah? I have no kills though. Introducing uh, your champion. No goodness. Uh, wow, I was ranked higher than the other two last match. I didn't. Oh, I just finished the guy. I didn't actually get a kill. I don't want to suggest anything because I don't know the map at all. Can you hold hands? They separated from us. Okay. You got a helmet. I think it's funny how in Germany a common name is Helmut. With a U. Yeah. Like they name their children that. They're like, your name is Helmut. Hmm. And it doesn't really mean anything different in German. It's like a head covering. They're like, I will name you that. It's like, all right, I will name my child Baseball Hat. <laughs> and Gwyneth Paltrow named the kid Apple. So, I mean, yeah, I guess we are even worse over here. Freaking goop. Name my child Apple and my website goop. Where's my teammates? That gun looks like the Halo gun. This? Yeah. Doesn't oh, it? Oh, it looks like a P90. Yeah. It looks a lot like the Halo gun to me. Like the battle rifle, but without the front part? Well, I think it's mostly the, the ammo counter. The ammo counter, yeah. Like the assault rifle then? Yeah. I can't remember which one of these two actually has more uh, kills or whatever. But hey, at least I'm traversing better. People insult every type of graphic that's not ultra realistic. I don't think so. I don't think a damn soul insulted Cuphead's graphics. Let's go this way. Oh, that's a better body shield there. Keem Prime named his horse in Red Dead after Justin. What? Well, that's, I guess, nice of you. Thanks. Uh, did you give it Justin's hair? Yeah. Well, what, what color is the hair? Is it white? Black? Brown? New kill leader appointed. Two people are agreeing that it does look like the Halo gun. I remember people complaining about chromatic aberration in Cuphead. It's okay, we'll silence those people with oh, extreme you know prejudice. Those use the same ammo, so I should switch. Oh man. When are we getting Spider Man Battle Royale? Huh. Yeah. 
Ooh, heavy rounds. These are good. If I don't have a PS3 and Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus, what do I do? For what? I guess if they want to play into the Nexus. I don't know exactly. Buy a used yeah. PS3? Yeah. Um... Yeah, you could wait out back behind um, GameStop and see if they throw one out, like at the bakery, how they do that with bread. Don't we need to move towards the center of the ring? I think so. Kim Prime really oh, wants your hair. They're serious and they're willing to pay money for a Wait, lock did of he your just hair. Say he's willing to pay money for a lock of my hair. Yeah, he said he'll. He, he can. He's he asking for your Bitcoin address. Did he really? Yeah. No, not really. Oh, God. It's a uh, Dodge coin. I don't want any Dodge coins. This is worthless. I know people insulted Cuphead's graphics because they are my friends. Bless me with sight. Well, Cuphead won many art awards when it came out, so. Okay, that's Where's fair, I guess, but I think people criticize games that have realistic looking graphics also. I think people just criticize everything because people have different tastes. The ring is not close. Um. It's actually pretty common to have good games with bad voice acting. I wonder why. The ring is distant. Time is short. Well, it's um voice acting is not really as technical as certain aspects of game design are. And um acting itself is like very complicated and oh, this is kind of a cool design that you have to go through here. Yeah, that is a cool looking space. Yeah. High tier loot in the pit. Ooh. Oh, I see. Kian Prime says, I hope you don't think it's creepy that I want to buy his hair for my shrine. For <laughs> GC shrine. Oh, God. <laughs> Anastasia. Hi. Thank you for stopping by. Nice of you to stop by to see the Burbank stream, even though I know that you hate our guts. No, I'm just kidding. She kind of does. No, she just she just knows that Tim is better, but she still kind of you know tolerates us, and that's all we ask for is tolerance. I feel like after all this battle royale stuff, Halo's gonna make money. They have to, right? Yeah. Gonna do it. Key and Prime doesn't like that I'm, um, kind of. Uh, embellishing what he's saying. So the last couple of things I've said that were Team Prime comments might have been a bit of an embellishment. I know. Keen's now asking me to read his comments. <laughs> okay. Yo, I gotta get myself going. See you later. Buy eight bit critters. You gotta hurry. And so the ring, I think that's the ring boundary up there in the corner. I wonder how it looks when the ring's closing. It's probably just a Ooh. giant thing. Ooh. Like, unfortunately. Okay, here. We don't have a clip button. Someone's got to clip this because we have to rub this in Tim's face on the Discord. Someone in the chat named Beast Blood Alt. Oh, Beast Blood, hey. Yeah. Says Burbank Stream is a million times better than North Carolina Stream. That's right, Tim. That's right, Thomas. That's right, Lauren. Lawrence. Burbank Stream, the voice of the people. Way better. You jabronis disgust me. Up your game. This is 2019. Come on. Put a little effort into your streams. Do some quality broadcasts, alright? Will we watch the Lego movie too? Yeah, I'm... Well, I don't know. I, I thought maybe I'd see it this weekend in Seattle, but maybe that will be actually difficult given the weather to go anywhere in Seattle. Uh, I'm over it. I think you see one Lego movie, you've seen them all. I still got some other movies I gotta watch. But eventually I'd probably see it. Not anytime soon. Jeez, you got a bunch of good weapons. Could we beat Tim in a fight? We already did. There's evidence from the arm wrestling thing where I broke his arm right here. Just snapped right off like in David Cronenberg's so The Fly. Is, what's hilarious about this is there's 29 people left, 12 squads, so there should be 36 people, so some of the squads are already manned down. We're still full strength. 
Um, I haven't seen anyone. We have not seen... Actually, maybe they saw saw and killed one person. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, we're just... (laughs) Like, and I don't really feel any desire to get into it either. Like, why would we? Oh, they. Oh, there's an enemy. Uh, why are we? Why are you letting him know our position? What are you doing, man? Beast Blood Alt made an alt oh, account because Tim the Bald Man banned me. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Why did Tim? Oh man. Dude, your gun is awesome. I oh, love nice. the sound it makes. Got him, Jay. I got him, right? I yeah, killed him, right? Got him. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> that gunfire was... I'm not even playing, but just watching and hearing it, I was like, that's a very satisfying gunfire. Um, have I not seen Black Panther yet? No, I did see it. Yeah, he watched it finally. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, let's do that here. Ooh, Arc Star. Uh, my team. Oh, there they are. Oh, we spotted another guy. So that was only, but that's the only person that's died since I was calling out how many people are left. There's still 27. So I might might have been alone because I did eliminate a squad. Now we have, th- so there's only four players off of ten squads. So there's six full strength squads still in all likelihood. Squad goals. <laughs> there could be more if there's like a squad with a single player on it. Um, Blaze I think we're getting Man into the ring too early, honestly. Is uh, I like getting into the ring at the last second, personally. But I'm just gonna follow these two because I feel like it's always best to be a group. Yeah, you should stick with your group. Blaze Man is shocked that we're playing a battle royale game made by Respawn. Why? We love Respawn. These guys are awesome. The best part about them is if you die, you just come right back to life. Well, I, I don't know if people, people, if you've ever read Jeff Keighley's thing, they put this in there, but they used the Ratchet and Clank engine at first. They, they took our PS3 engine and were using that originally to build Titanfall. Oh, I did not uh, when know When they that. first started as a company, yeah, we gave them the PS3 engine. And, like, that was kind of mean of us, honestly, because that engine, you know, was not anything that... There's no fuse engine. Yeah, I mean, like, we we desperately had to build the fuse engine so we could do other stuff. So, um... Shit! Oh, oh your teammate's down, too. Goodbye. Oh! Yes! Yes! Revive me! Revive me! Oh my god. Yes! Oh my yes! god. <laughs> that knockdown shield was huge. Oh my god. Now you gotta save your friend. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Shoot! Shoot her! Ah! Didn't you get revived? I thought so, but I no, I'm still bleeding out. He didn't get me up. Oh. Yes! Revive me, revive me, revive me. I wasn't. I didn't get fully revived. He's not fully revived either yet. Come on! Okay, now you're back. This is cool. This game is very advanced. You're healing them. Yeah, dogs! Look at that! We're back to full strength! <laughs> Okay, now it's your abuse. Oh, no. ah. I wonder how many were left. This game's really cool. I will say the name Apex Legends is very forgettable and kind of like lackluster. They should have named it something else. Uh, it, yeah, it was weird though because you can't really call it Titanfall with no Titans. Uh, well, you know, yeah, I feel good that I got a kill. Um, even you know, I got that one good shot. Better than six out of twenty. Yeah, so not bad. I guess. Go back to the lobby. Only Um, eight minutes left. 
What's Battle Royale? It's a hundred, or a bunch of players enter, only one leaves, is the idea of Battle Royale. Key and Prime, you need to watch the movie uh, Battle Royale. It's a Japanese movie that basically was the inspiration for Hunger Games. Um, yeah, I could never get into Hunger Games because it was... Did you see was... Battle Royale? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Battle Royale's yeah. awesome. I've seen Battle Royale, and then I couldn't get into Hunger Games, because Hunger Games is like, let's take Battle Royale and then make it for, like, little girls. <laughs> it's like, well, it kind of takes the edge off of it, you know? The Hunger Games is great, too. Mm. Really, though, the mm. second Hunger Games is the best. The first Hunger Games is good. The mm. second one is awesome. The second Arena is amazing. I just watched Battle Royale. The, the, the third Hunger Games is trash. And... Just cool. even what's the main character's name? Just what what is the name? Say the Katniss. name out loud. For the whole name. Katniss Overdeen. Or Katniss Overdeen. Is it Overdeen? I thought it was like uh, Everdeen. Everdeen. Katniss Everdeen. See, when I hear that out loud, it just makes me think of like these conventions where people like dress up and 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 role yeah, play. Right. I think and, it is Everdeen. And it just makes me just yeah Everdeen Overdeen. Uh, Overdeen. Uh, I can't <laughs> stomach hearing and processing Katniss Everdeen I just go oh oh it's just so nerdy I mean and I I'm a nerd but there's still there's a threshold where oh, it's like it's just so, I'm just like oh god what's in my loot packs give me that loot box ooh weapon skin oh but really like yeah if you have to find all your stuff it's just skins right yeah probably This game is very polished. Yeah, dude, it's respawn. Uh, we don't have time for another match, do we? No, oh, we could God. thumb wrestle. What time is it? We got six. All right, you thumb war with him. Thumb war. What? Go to the full screen. I did. And then we'll do camera one. Wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, wait. All right, yeah. Hi. All right. Hi. All right. Don't wait. worry. The rules wait, are in the. Or no, no, no thumb wrestling. I haven't done this. In okay, like here we ages. go. All okay, right. So, wait, how so do we go. One, two. one, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. All right. All right. Here we All go. Right. Snakies. <laughs> Got him with the old snakey. Did you, just, did you just lose? He didn't say no snakies. That's his first mistake right there. God. All right. No snakies. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. He's just looking in my eyes and not even looking at the thumb. He's trying to psych me out. <laughs> Holy <laughs> MZs! <laughs> I was trying to bait him. Oh. Trying to bait him. And you were trying to bait uh, me. <laughs> like, you're like, you're not even looking. You're looking, he was looking in my eyes. He's psyching me I out. I did psych you out. <laughs> Uh, rules, what's that? Corey prepared for Mario Kart Friday. He's always prepared for Oh, Mario born Kart ready, Friday. man. I'm going to play that game Bird Box style, and I'll still beat everybody. No, Love no, Mario Kart. No. We'll hold you yeah. to that, Corey. We're going to hold you to that. <laughs> so I guess, yeah. we're, I guess we're playing racing games on Friday or something. I don't know. Uh, we'll be back Friday, and then you will be stuck with these knuckleheads for three weeks. So. Snakey is when you use your pointer finger. You're not supposed to. You're, you just do it with your thumb, and you cheat, and you, you hook them with the pointer finger. Come on. That's like... Everyone who, who's, like, ever gone over to someone else's house and they had an older brother come in and, like, oh, here, let me show you, and then just do that to you. Yeah. And then give you the noogie. You ever get held down by someone's older brother and they noogie you? No. Yeah. Well, and we'll have Fan Art Friday on Friday as well. So We will. Tune here, in for that. We'll give you a little taste of how that's going to be. It's going to be like this. Ah. Right there. Okay. All right. Uh, that's all. And have a good rest of your weekdays. We'll see you on Friday at uh, well twelve thirty uh, Pacific time. North Carolina will be streaming. We'll be here mm -hmm. at two p.m. Pacific. Uh, much love to all of you. Have a great couple days.